Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here and welcome to Plane Time Dancing Wings Hobby Tiger Moth Edition. Tiger Moth 2023 Edition, the new improved 800 millimeter version of the Tiger Moth from Dancing Wings Hobby they've had around for a while. This is the new plane. So what I have here is I have the instructions, I have the beginnings of the plane, have all the gadgets and this is going to be time-lapse build. Had a quick look through the instructions they're actually very good and fairly straightforward there shouldn't be any real surprises or any real need for me to dive in and talk to you about details until I get to the end uh, and we'll see if it's at the end but till I get to the point I'm installing an ESC and a receiver. The real trick was going to be um, how I'm going to install the, the receiver in here and I haven't figured that out yet and I'm honestly wondering if I'm going to have to cut a hole in the beautiful covering potentially on the underside or something uh, we shall see so I'll let you know when I get to that point but otherwise let's kick on let's kick on into it I'm looking forward to getting this thing put together I'm expecting it to come together pretty quick Hi everyone, Tim the Plane Man here with the completed Dancing Wings Hobby 800mm Tiger Moth. And yes, it was absolutely a pleasure to build. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of some of the key differences between what the instructions say and what's in the plan. Uh, in a nutshell, they're all improvements. Uh, it's really, really um, a pleasure to see you've got something to do and then find out you don't have to because already done. I just want to quickly tell you about uh, how it went together which is it was just beautiful it was a pleasure to build it was really really nice everything slots together the instructions are awesome um, I didn't totally follow them step by step but uh, close and what I did want to point out a couple of things here where uh, I've made some notes on the on the manual here and um, some of the, um, and I guess improvements in the model potentially that aren't necessarily in the plane. So um, there was no, uh, there was no screwing required to screw the, uh, the horizontal stabilizer in. It says in the manual that you have to do that. Actually you don't. The elevator is already hinged. You don't have to uh, hinge that, um, put uh, hinges in according to the manual. You have to do that, you don't, it's already done. They've used covering actually to create these really nice hinges. They look really, really good. Um, it's one, really quite nice. The, uh, the wheel, the tail wheel on the plane here, um, says you have to install it and glue it. It's already done. You don't have to do that. Um, one thing I did have to watch out for with the elevator when putting it in was that by to line the when I lined the rudder up with where it needed to be and then put the horizontal stabilizer in where it needed to be, the elevator kind of was catching a little bit on this on the rudder, so that just had to be um, cut out a little bit so it wouldn't catch. Uh, not a big deal, but just one little thing that where it wasn't, I mean, it's such a surprise because everything else is just perfect. It's everything slots together exactly as it's supposed to. There's nothing you really need to know. Um, the one big surprise for me, having built some of the other Dancing Wings kits before, and and a couple of ARFs that weren't, aren't Dancing Wings, is how the wings go together. Um, when I got to the wings and I slotted the wings onto the uh, carbon fiber spars uh, as per the instructions and it says, um, you know, don't glue anything and then you wait till you get to the end for where you glue it, you actually don't glue it. The, um, the, this wing separator here or joiner there gets glued eventually to these um, struts here. But 
The wings themselves, both top and bottom, are just fitted and clip on and then the the rigging, which is a little bit awkward to put in, but really not too bad. Um, that rigging is what effectively holds the wings from uh, popping off. So there is no glue. And it also, it worried me because I was thinking about the, uh, you know, the, I had a bit of a hard, one of the things I did have a hard time with was threading the, the servo wires through the wing and into the main fuselage. And it was kind of partly frustrating because the wires themselves that came with these servos were like exactly long enough to get just here, but not quite long enough to get into the fuselage. So I either had to use a, I mean, I didn't have a really short servo extension wire, either a really long one. Uh, anyway, it, it worked out that trying to feed it through and then pull that last little bit through to feed it into a Y cable and connect the Y cable, um, I, just, I just couldn't get it through. And I ended up extending the servo wires and then um, by that time I'd lost the string leap through that came out of the box. So I ended up having to sort of jiggle it through, which was a bit annoying, but I know it only took me 10 minutes, I guess, to get it through. So that was a bit frustrating, but really no big deal. The, um, the cowling fits beautifully on. Um, and as I said, the wings themselves don't really, uh, don't glue together. Now, one thing about the, the wings is the wings, what the wings do do, if you can see that, they actually tie on with these um, eye hooks and with a screw at the back end. And I probably, if I had figured this out ahead of time, I would have put those, um, the eye hook and the screw in ahead of time rather than after I'd already put the wings on and tied the, the rigging um, because it really was awkward getting them in then and it would have been way easier if I'd done that up front. Um, I think, let me just quickly have a look. That's about it. It's just really, really pretty. And I've taken some pictures, so you might see some pictures on Facebook or Instagram if you have a look at me there. The only thing left is the center of gravity. and. I'm skeptical. The, uh, the instructions say the center of gravity is 70 millimeters behind the leading, behind the leading edge of the bottom wing. And, you know, that's going to put the center of gravity way back here. Um, it's crazy. Uh, now, right now, the center of gravity is on the, basically on the, on the spar of the front wing. And, I mean, if I put it so far back, I'm sure it's going to be tail heavy. And so all the reports are, just, from the videos that I've seen, is that the first flight of this plane has always been it's tail heavy. You have to put weight in the front. So I'm waiting for some feedback. Uh, we'll see uh, how we go with that. I'm kind of hesitant to put any more weight in the front, but I definitely don't want to put any weight in the back. Anyway, there it is. And the next thing you shall see will be the maiden flight or the maiden crash.
Pop.